Okay, look, this video is going to be a little bit weird because when I filmed most of what you're going to see, I thought it was going to be a different video. Today I'm going to show you the things that I picked up while Jill Nauer was here. And for those of you who don't know who Jill is, she's a YouTuber and a former jewelry designer. Kind of former on both because she hasn't done YouTube in a long time but she does plan to come back. And I will let her explain to you when she comes back why she's no longer doing jewelry as well. If you don't know about her visit, then you haven't seen my last video yet. She was here for a week, we did luxury shopping, but we also did a lot of other things, and we each picked up a few things, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I have things to show you from Hermes, Chanel, and Longchamp. And when I filmed this, I thought I was going to include it in that vlog, but I ended up not doing that because it was already too long. Long, so I decided to make it a separate video. That's what you'll see today. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe. Click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. One thing that was not included in the vlog is that we went to the San Marcos outlets in San Marcos, Texas. They have the high-end outlets like the Gucci, the YSL, Versace, Prada, and they also have a brand new Longchamp outlet. We did film a little intro while we were there, but then I didn't film any of the shopping at all, so I just cut it out of the vlog completely. And while I'm explaining things related to the vlog, let me explain one thing that I should have included in the vlog at some point. While we were in Wimberley, which is about three hours west of Houston. You did see in the vlog there was a wildfire and you saw we had problems when we were tubing in the river. We were going very slowly. Sometimes we were going backward. That's because there was a major drought going on. We ran into a few wildfires there. One night we were there, there was one less than a mile from our hotel. We stayed up almost all night that night because we wanted to keep an eye on it and make sure we weren't all going to die. We saw quite a few rivers that were completely dry. There was no water at all. And the one that we were in, we had problems with it because the water level was so low. There just wasn't a current because it was so low, and even the slightest breeze would blow us backward. The whole river float that we were doing, or planning to do, because we didn't end up doing the whole thing, normally takes about two hours. We did, I think, about a third of that whole float, and it took almost three hours. That's how slow the river was. And you saw that Jill got out and swam at one point to pull us along. I also got out and swam at one point to pull us along. It was fun, but it was disappointing too that it wasn't a more normal experience and that we had to work instead of just sitting there relaxing. And while I'm talking about this vlog, I may as well plug my other two travel vlogs that I posted recently. There was one in Oregon and one in Colorado. So if you're someone who enjoys my travel vlogs, please make sure you check those out as well. They will be linked in the description box below. And as promised, it is time to see what I purchased from Longchamp, Chanel, and Hermes while Jill was here. At the outlet center in San Marcos, we went into the Longchamp outlet, which is a brand new store there. It's the first time I'd been in. They weren't even open last time I was there. And I picked up two things. We don't have any Longchamp stores in Texas as far as I know. The only one I've ever been to besides this outlet was in New York. The wrapped and launched on tissue paper. One is this, it's in my cactus green color. Regular watchers may know I already have the large Le Pliage tote in cactus green and I have the extra large duffel bag in cactus green. These are my go-to road trip bags. I put all my clothes and stuff in the duffel bag and I put my electronics and other things I need to access and keep a little safer in the tote. And this outlet had two pieces in this green color. I kind of just spoiled the other one. So I purchased both of them. One is this small size tote with the short handles. And I don't know if I'll use this as a handbag or use these pieces in addition to the travel pieces for travel, but I know that sometimes I want a little more space than those other two bags provide. So these were perfect. The others in here, more cactus green. This color has since been discontinued by the way, and the outlet had discontinued items as well as some new Le Pliage totes and duffels. This is the medium size Le Pliage tote with short handles. This is the one I'm thinking could be an extra travel bag, and then I could potentially use this as a handbag. And I also already have this extra small size 
which is the same color, but it's a limited edition piece with the graffiti art on the front. My set of cactus green is growing more complete. I would like the large size duffel as well haven't found that one yet. And while I was editing this, I realized I should have opened up all of these to show you and done a quick comparison, so I'll do that now. This is the large size Le Pliage tote that I already had. And here's the medium size. I'll put this on top of each other like this. The difference is here. The bodies of them are almost the very same size. The medium is just maybe an inch shorter, but the width across is about the same. The medium has the short handles, the large has the long handles. And then here's the small in comparison to these. It's hard to see since they're all the same color. That's a little easier to see. And this is the extra large duffel. Here is the large tote compared to the extra large duffel. You can see there is quite a size difference. The extra large duffel is very spacious. I love it, it's my favorite travel piece. From Chanel, I picked up something from the beauty counter in Neiman Marcus. Oh my goodness. This is so fancy. It comes in this little velveteen pouch with the Chanel logo there, and it's hard to see, but there's a little strap that holds this flap in place. And inside there, I will not be storing it in this bag because it's gonna get messed up. Oh my God, come out and don't break. Here we go. It's a little kabuki brush. It's very soft, it's very round. I have a travel brush from Chanel that I use for my YouTube makeup when I'm traveling. It has a lid, it collapses, I've shown it to you before, and I will link it below. And it has a rounded top like this, it's not quite this big, but I have loved it. That is this brush here, and I have been using it, so it's not the cleanest at the moment, but that is it. I love this brush, it's fabulous. What I love the most, besides it being a travel piece, is you can just push that right up before you put the cap on and that saves the bristles from being ruined when you push the cap over it. It's a brilliant design. Good job, Chanel. By the way, Chanel logo on the bottom, beautiful. And I've wanted to get a long-handled brush to use for everyday use, so I was looking at those, but they didn't have what I wanted. And the person at the counter brought this out and this is pretty much what I wanted. It just doesn't have the long handle, which isn't a big deal. So that'll just sit in my bathroom like that and I can use it for the YouTube makeup and it will be lovely and wonderful. Pretty sure she said this is a limited edition piece. If not that, it's at least new. So I don't know if it's on their website. If it is, I'll link it. If it's not there, keep an eye out for it or ask at your Chanel beauty counter. And from Hermes, I have this little box. You probably know what this is. We'll take the ribbon off and the top. and pull out the contents. I don't remember the name of this scarf, but I will link it below for you. It's one of the new collection from the Fall 22 releases. As you can see, it fades from the orange to the blue overall, and it has blues and oranges and yellows and also kind of browny taupe colors. It has a lot of animals, which is why I was drawn to it. And the artist is Alice Shirley, who is a very popular Hermes scarf designer. And there it is, beautiful. The colors and the animals and the nature imagery really spoke to me on this one. I had to go home with it, or it had to go home with me. That makes more sense. And when we returned home, Jill surprised me with this wonderful gift from Longchamp. She got this at the outlet there. It was an item I was looking at and didn't leave with, and she noticed that, and she picked it up for me and surprised me, and I... I was really surprised. I did not know she got it. I love it. You'll see why. It is this scarf. Here's the design. It's very similar to the cactus green. Really beautiful. And then it has the black and white design. I'll come closer and show you. All along the border, it says L'Enchant. And then down here, it has this kind of tattoo style design with the birds and the love and the flowers. And it's so pretty. It's a bandana size. So what I'm gonna do is fold it in a triangle and tie it in just a small knot at the back. And this is the way I'm most likely to wear it, either on top of a shirt or on a collared shirt like this, you could tuck it under. And that's really pretty, I love it. Thank you, Jill. Every time I wear it, I will think of you. And that's what I got from the trip when Jill was here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again to Jill for that beautiful gift from Longchamp. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.